Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. You know, it doesn't seem to matter what you end up doing in life. The people from your hometown always remember you as what you were when you grew up. Galen Culver offers a case in point with a soldier who recently received the Congressional Medal of Honor, but wanted to come home to salute those who helped make it. On the short grass plains of western Oklahoma, the community of Merritt consists of farms, pastures, and a country school that on this day welcomed back a true returning hero. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's so awesome to be back here. Uh, I don't know what you think of Merritt. Uh, I'm super proud I'm from here. The nation now recognizes Master Sergeant Earl Plumley as its most recent living recipient of the Congressional Medal of Honor, the military's highest award. <laughs> Earl's third grade teacher came to hug his neck and gave him a quilt. His old high school football coach, Don Bradshaw, still sees him as the kid who rode his bike to practice every day without fail and the sometimes precocious kid he had to swat once in a while. I might have spanked him a time or two, <laughs> the Medal of Honor recipient. He was the last person uh, to hit me with a paddle. He was a good kid and he was all in. The current students of Merritt High weren't even born when Earl left here. He was born in Clinton, moved to Sayre, then to Merritt. Young Earl grew up on a farm and in the oil fields. He couldn't wait to leave then, but one of his first requests as a Medal of Honor recipient was to drop by and pay his respects here. Coming back, it's a, a flood of emotions, and uh, I got tinglys, you know, as we were uh, driving into the school. His weekend itinerary full, his old friends who stayed around the Elk City area wanted him to see the new Arrowhead Community Center. He's told the story of that day in August of 2013 many times now, but the gravity of what happened there still comes through. I rushed the nearest group of fighters, uh, shooting at them with my pistol. Plumley himself credits his training as a soldier, but also this particular flat spot on the planet as the firm foundation for what came later. You know, I think we started that, that first beginning kind of core of, of my personality uh, is from here, will always be from here. They're kind of a touchstone. Yeah. Thanks for being here. And I like to pay respect to the people that uh, kept track of me uh, my whole childhood. In Merritt and Elk City, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? He definitely deserves a standing ovation. Master Sergeant Plumley joined the National Guard as a junior in high school, then the Marines. He joined the Army in 2009 and is still based with a Special Forces Battalion in Washington State. Thank you so much for your service. Wow. Stay the same. Congratulations.